Here's a picture of the loom we'll be building today. There are many different designs and types of looms. A loom needs to be sturdy enough to keep the warps under pressure. The warps are the strings going up and down. They're under a lot of pressure when weaving. There's a big difference in weaving a hand knotted rug versus weaving a colleen. When weaving a hand knotted rug, the pressure on the warps is far more than what it is needed to weave a colleen. What we are building here is a modification of a larger loom. This loom will be plenty strong to weave a colleen. Here's a picture of the loom we will be building and the different parts which you can find in the materials section. If you don't want to make it yourself, ask someone else to help you. Once you watch the video, you can decide the best approach for you. We will begin by cutting all the wood pieces according to the measurements found in the materials section. Starting with piece A, which is the upper beam. Mark the two holes and drill both. We now move to parts B and C, which make up the sides of the loom. Mark each hole and drill both. Next, we cut the metal rods using a hacksaw. Make sure you leave no sharp edges from cutting the pieces. Use a file to eliminate any sharp edges. Before assembling the frame, it is a good idea to pre-drill smaller holes using a smaller drill bit. This will help when drilling the actual 3-inch screws. Here are A and D pieces, which are the upper and lower beams. Now you can put all the pieces together. Having a second pair of hands would make things much simpler. Although I showed two screws on each piece, I later added a third one to be sure it's solid. Next we'll add these L brackets, which will also add more stability and strength to the loom. We will use the shorter metal rod and attach the two eye bolts as shown. Now we'll add the longer metal rod. Make sure to leave an even amount on either side. Use the two metal washers to keep the rod from sliding from side to side. Let's add two more brackets, about 14 inches from the top, which will help us secure the heddle stick later. Believe it or not, we're done. Here's the finished loom. In the next video, we will begin the process of adding warps. This loom will let you weave a claim approximately 12 inches by 16 inches. Good luck in your journey, and thank you for watching this video.